double check that we're live. <laughs> hey guys, we're waiting to see if we're live. Casey can hear us. I think they can pretty much hear us after just a couple seconds. Mm hmm. Oh, yep. We're getting an ad, so we're live. Yay! <laughs> hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I really love saying that. I, I must be weird because I love it every time. <laughs> Emily's here helping with me, helping me behind the scenes today. Hello. And we're going to paint Poppy's live, or live, of course it's live. We're going to paint Poppy's without a traceable on a blank canvas. It's five by seven inches. It's from Michael's. It's uh, gallery wrapped and splined, which means it has a rubber gasket in here. I assume you guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to grab the phone and bring you over to my art table here. Oh, before I do that, um, on Unsplash, I have a small collection of reference photos for myself that I might paint someday. And this is one of them. So I have a photo printed just in case I need a little help with what poppies look like. And if the link is below in the description of this video, if you want to go check out those photos, print some of your own. Okay, now I'm going to grab the phone and Emily's going to help me with the microphone cords. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I need to be... Can you on be, the other side, on yeah. On the other side. Mm -hmm. I'm like, put the cords down. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let's do this. Sorry, oh, guys. Over. Extra yeah. little flyby. Okay. That irritates me every time, YouTube. Because <laughs> I set it up through the YouTube app. Mm-hmm. And then it isn't at all right when I get here. Well, we'll just, I think it's easier to move yeah. this stuff than move my painting. It is, it is. I don't know what to do about that. I just checked it right before we started. Okay, let's get the canvas under here and move it to the right. Bonita says, hi from Kentucky. It's a beautiful, bright, Sun, or it's a beautiful day with bright sunshine. Oh, it is the exact opposite. Here. Yeah, hello from rainy, drizzly yeah. Omaha. But the trees have been absolutely gorgeous this fall. I think it's been the prettiest fall we've ever had, which is hard to know. But if that's actually true, that looks funny. I think we'll go with it because I don't have much table left over here. Yeah, it's okay. I think that'll work. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Emily just went running. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you can't see that, but that was pretty distracting. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have a Prismacolor New Pastel. I was just going to write the word love on the canvas. That's a great way to start. Oh, yesterday, the day before, I sprayed this canvas with water. On the back, dried it with a hair dryer to tighten it up. I've got a video on that. All right, let's get out some paint. I might do two palettes. We'll just see how messy I get here. So titanium white. I like to buy it in the big jug. Oh, that's upside down. So I keep it on my table like this, so the paint's at the end. I also have heavy body titanium white. And I thought we would use pretty much primary colors. So I was assuming most of you guys might have an ultramarine blue. Um, use any blue you have. I was tempted to use my um, Indian Thream blue because it's kind of a muted dark blue. I like that that one. And then we're just going to use Cad Yellow, medium hue. I think the part that you left out is that we're doing it with palette knife. No, I'm not sure that we're gonna. Oh, we're not gonna. Ah, <gasps> because I've got a little one that's you know watch me paint this little messy palette knife. True. Painting. And I've got a big one with a tall brush, so I don't know. I was we'll thinking see what you since feel. The, the, the palette knife video I already have is 5 by 7 this way. Oh. Mm -hmm. That we'd mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I did tell you, I think, Emily. All right, and I also sent a photo. Oh, this is uh, Quinacridone Magenta. Yeah, because the photo you sent me was palette knifed, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right, I'm going to mix. Where's my little... Oh, right there. 
I like this little palette knife from Bullock. It's bent. I use it for everything. I also really like this one. It's just uh, I use it for a big when I have a bigger palette usually. That's a nice one from Liquitex. Okay, so I want to mix uh, sky color and I want it kind of muted. So probably not much blue. Oh, you know what I always do and I do it wrong. Start with your lightest color. Let's just pull it straight out there. Can is that on camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's grab a pinch of blue. And I even might want it a little aqua green because I've been really enjoying that color. Let's see, do I have it handy? This color has been making my day. <laughs> I just love it. I don't necessarily paint with it straight up, but I mix with it and it's like, oh, I've got some really interesting sky colors. I put that in the Mavis in the middle, the three cow paintings, if you guys saw that one. So this makes kind of a little purpley blue. I don't know if that shows up on video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes off as a more purple blue. I have a little yellow. This might be really ugly. <laughs> Just see where it goes. That looks kind of weird. I went out and grabbed yeah, some yellow. Yeah, it's graying out or something. Well, it's green and oh, green. it's green and, yeah. Which I want it to do. So that's one thing about the um, ultramarine tends to go more purple. Whereas maybe a cobalt blue wouldn't do that to you. But I was guessing that more people would have ultramarine at home. That might be too much blue. It's pretty strong. Oh yeah, that got green. So I thought, I don't know. We'll have to see if you guys like this, but I thought it might be interesting to see me start from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because usually we start with the canvas background prepped, so. Yeah. Well, and to me, it's this isn't as interesting. So that's graying out, which is kind of pretty. Oh, the squeak. I don't know if you could hear that. I've got a couple of, I didn't know how many palettes I was going to go through and how large of puddles I was going to mix. So I've got a couple of styrofoam plates under each other. Now I'm happier. <laughs> it's kind of a blue gray. So why do I want a muted sky? Oh, because then it'll it'll be I'm gonna paint it lighter anyway, and it'll even it'll pull more into the background and the poppies will come uh, more forward if I paint them out of the tube color. That's the only really reason why. I was gonna kinda of go for an aqua color, but I don't know if I can get it with the ultramarine. Now that looks really gray. I don't know if I have enough. Of course, I'm going to mix white with it. Uh, so that is pretty, pretty blue gray. Is that going to be too rainy? Rainy sky day. It's very fitting for today. It is. Oh, the squeaking. I don't think you, I was trying to listen. I don't think you really hear it. You hear you mixing, but you don't really hear the squeaky squeak. Oh, good. Thanks for joining me today. We really look forward to Wednesdays, and I have already figured out what next Wednesday is going to be. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Am I going to like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I think we'll put it down, and we can always change it. can always blue it up, can grab another tube of blue. Um, I'm just going to grab a bigger brush here. Oh, three-quarter inch Royal Nickel. Okay, normally I pick this up. <laughs> I wonder if I paint the sides once the, um, maybe I'll do that, paint the sides once the video's done. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you, you have room to pick it up, too, I think. That's pretty good. I don't know how close you get to yourself, I guess. Yeah. Here, I'm going to grab a little straight-up ultramarine, because I got a little grayer than I like. But I like having... So I paint the corners to seal them up. Or you could put a layer of paint on first, white, a layer of gesso. You know, you could, there's lots of ways to do this. See, to me that's not that exciting. It's going to take longer if I show me painting. Paint 
painting the sides. Let's see, we're going to kind of want, let's think about this a little bit. I'm going to kind of want, I don't know if you can see it. Sometimes your canvases are softer and looser. I think I'm going to, when I'm done painting with this, I'll spray the back again and dry it again. Tighten it back up. This one feels a little softer than most of them. That happens once in a while. So what I'm thinking is how far down is my sky going to go? Oh, my table shakes. Oh, yeah, just a little bit, yeah. I see it. Yeah, I'm like, I think I was beating up on this canvas the way it's shaking. <laughs> so I'm going to do um, Simple Sky. Oh, we'll have to do a cloud, maybe, live video. Yeah. I, um, I kind of like to keep the sky simple for painting a bunch of flowers or something. I don't want to compete with the... The stars of the show or the star of the show, which is going to be the flowers. And then a lot of artists like painting poppies because they're, I think they're easier. They're kind of simple, fun. I'm just getting some paint on the side so when I come back I can finish the sides later. I sound kind of eerie. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I think it's soothing. It's like very oh, yeah. kind of librarian. <laughs> or like Bob Ross kind of talks like that. I think some of it has to do with just painting. Yeah, I like painting. It's very soothing. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts. It's just. There's a, a commercial I get on YouTube a lot for an app called The Calm or like Calm or something like that. And it's supposed to like have noises if you or like sounds or like guided meditation or like if you can't fall asleep that easily or if your brain races while you're trying to fall asleep it's supposed to like like guide you into sleep and um your voice is like that the lady on the commercial her voice is kind of like that it's like <laughs> okay and you're gonna do this and it's gonna be like this and breathe yeah <laughs> Well, now I'm thinking about, I have Jack in my head, and I don't know if you said this too, Emily, but like, you have a mom voice. Yeah, yeah, you do have a mom voice. Like, well, it is what it is. Just adding some white. What do we think? Yeah, it looks pretty. I really like that. It's not, I like, I mean, it's always, well, always, I mean, I ended up adding some ultramarine, mm -hmm. but, um, the color has more color than on that bright white palette. I would recommend using a gray palette even though it's not what I'm doing here. I do this because it I can have several palettes going. I can stick it in a gallon bag. So I'm going to change topics here midstream. I'm going to get in trouble here if I don't stop because I'm going <laughs> to it's going to start to dry and tack up on me. It's not going to let yeah, me Yeah, I like it. It's not going to let me blend. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just washing up my brush here. Now I'm going to mix a green. And you know, Emily, I had this thought and I didn't think about it till just now. Mm -hmm. I'm have you take it in the hair dryer to another room? Oh, yeah, I can do that. I went into another room to crack open my drink. So, was oh, that what you were doing? <laughs> yeah, that's why I ran away because I realized I didn't open it before we started. Well, I'm thinking of this now. I'm going to paint a little on the top so it blends a little better for me. Is the, should I move the hair dryer in another room just so we have it there? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, and maybe, um, maybe we, if we, you know, we time it really well, we could time it where I hair dry it and you do the. Oh, I want to hair dry it now. Oh, you want to hair dry it now? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to read my mind. I'm just kind of painting the sides here a little bit. It has paint on it. It has a little bit of paint. That's not bad considering all the years I've used your hair dryer. Yeah, my hair dryer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Hang on. I'm gonna go plug it in. Ah. Fine. Okay. I'm gonna figure out which room I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, it doesn't really matter. That's just gonna look for the most available. 
Oh, the bathroom, maybe, yeah. I'm just kind of stalling or playing while she's... I almost got the sides painted. I would normally stick down those seams better. But you can, I also put on a gel gloss isolation layer when I'm done painting and the painting's dried for a couple days. You can stick down those seams with that too. Oh, and I've got a string. I really, I think she's having trouble. I really like the spline canvases. I can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear her laughing. What are you doing? I, I had to go to a different outlet because I couldn't get a plug out of the um, one in the office that I saw first. And then... Okay, this is a really soft canvas, so kind of, yeah, the yeah. corner. Okay. Thanks. And then, um, and then I tried to plug it in your bathroom, but your outlet in the bathroom is upside down. So, oh, it is upside down. So I kept having to, like, take all the... We, when we moved in, Chris, we're the second owner of that outlet is upside down. Okay, so I'm cleaning out my brush because we're going to switch to green. I'm so glad she's here helping me. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to take a peek at chat, see if anybody's there. Bonita already said hello. And that it's sunny. Thank you so much for coming. I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. All right, you guys. I'm going to really clean out my brush. So while she's doing that, I was gonna show you something. So I'm painting ornaments and I've done this tree. Is this my third year doing ornaments? I think this is my third year doing ornaments. Hey, Suzanne, I just got started a little bit on the canvas. Uh, Emily's drying it for me with a hairdryer. She'll be right back. But I think, I mean, there's different things I like about each one, but this one, I like that there's more black in the tree or more darks. But I lined kind of my rows up. And then this one, um, I'm much more confident with my brush strokes. So I thought you'd like to see the progress and the change in my art and my painting. Okay, Emily's back. Do you think? See, I even had a planned little thing there. I just forgot to let you know. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Is it tacky? Yes. Tacky? Good, no, okay. it's, well, it's a little wet on the side, but it's great. Yeah, the side there was a little thick spot, so I couldn't get them in. That definitely helps. Well, I got, I'm so glad I had my iPad here because I could see Suzanne pop in. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just see that, yeah. We really appreciate you guys. <laughs> we really do. I've got ultramarine blue, uh, cad yellow, and quinacridone out, and I made a muted blue here. So what I think I'll do, I'm going to save a little bit. And then I'm going to make... Gonna... <laughs> That's like kind of pea soupy. So why do that? Well, it's going to help unify my colors even though I'm only using basically three primaries. Are you good on your phone side? What's your phone say? My phone doesn't say anything. Okay. It just lagged a little bit. So okay. that's all. Okay. Never you know, mind. we've been having more internet problems. I don't know if it's because, I mean, even just recently too though. It's not just the pandemic and more people are home. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Bonita says, I tell my husband I can't be disturbed disturbed on Wednesdays at noon as I go to Omaha for an art class. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Well, and then Kentucky, right? Yes. Um, excuse me. Same time zone. I didn't realize that. I know. Like, um, it, it's so weird that, like, um, when we went to Tennessee, it was, like, the same time zone. And I know part of Tennessee, it splits or something. But it, it felt so weird to go so far, and we're still in the same time zone. I forgot about that. Because, mm -hmm. like, Florida is a different time zone, and they're farther. And New York is a different time zone, but they're farther, too. Yeah, I mean, but I know what you mean, sweetie. Yeah, it just felt so weird to go so far when you can drive eight hours or, like, seven hours. You can be on the edge of, of Nebraska, the other direction, and you're in a different time zone. Well, to me, Kentucky is more east than it might be. And I, in my head, you know, like, because yeah. Texas is pretty much straight south. And yeah. So to me, that makes sense. It's the same time zone, but. Yeah. I just think it's weird that you can go to, like, the Colorado edge of Omaha and be in mountain time. And then you have, or of Omaha, of Nebraska. And um, you can be in mountain time and then we're central and then you can still go all the way to Kentucky and still be in central. That is funny. I'm just mm -hmm. looking for a darker green here. 
Yeah, that, that it is weird. Well, okay, so now if we go straight up into Canada, I don't know if that's the same time zone. No, I don't think so. And I don't know if they do daylight savings, which I don't care for here in the States. And not every, most states do it, but I think there's a few places that don't. Yeah, I don't think California does I don't daylight know. savings. It's outside my wheelhouse. Oh, um, Bonita says half of Kentucky is on Eastern time zone. Oh. So it's kind of probably like Tennessee. Oh. But they, aren't they like they're on top of each other? Right? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. I need them. I'm going to look up a map. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to picture it. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Yep. And they're about just as long as each other, too. So it kind of makes perfect sense. Yeah. I hope watching me mix paint is really fun. <laughs> I'm mixing way more than I need, partly because I'm thinking about states and not my puddles and colors. Oh. Um, I think they are on Central sometimes, some places. I don't know. Um, I just did a quick, and I was thinking about it because um, Chase has a friend that's I think he's in Ontario, and he has the same time zone as our friends in New York. When we all talk, oh, that together. makes sense to me. Yeah, because they kind of—they're close, you yeah. know. Yeah. Not close, close, but you know, closer than we are. Yeah. Um. So I bet. I'm just mixing some green puddles so I can play and let's see. Do less mixing and thinking. Oh yeah. So there, it just depends. So middle of Canada is on Central. And then, um, looking at a map, the right side of Canada's eastern mountain. T I think it kind of lines up with our where ours cut, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. I found a map. <laughs> I love Google. I mean, I mean, sometimes the internet is kind of a bad, scary place. But well, holy crud! I'm broadcasting live from <laughs> my little studio, which was Emily's old bedroom. I mean, that's so cool. So one thing I do with um, lightening up colors quite often, like greens and uh, reds, I'll add a little white, but I add yellow too, so it doesn't go too minty on me. Mm -hmm. You can add just yellow and see how you like it and see if you need the white. So Suzanne says it's 122 there, so they went back one hour. Oh. So they also do. We fall, we fall. Well, it's, it's, I don't mind it in the fall so much, but in the spring I'm like, oh. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I'd i rather leave it, one, because then you don't have to deal with it going forward and losing an hour, but I'd rather leave it because it is, like, it was already dark by, like, six, but now it's really, it's like, Chase and I were talking, we were saying last night that, like, it's, it was at, right after dinner, and Chase was like, I am so tired. It feels like it's, like, midnight right now with how dark it is. Yeah, I don't like that either. They used to move it bef here before Halloween. Because then it would be real nice and dark for the trick-or-treaters. But I kind of like that they don't now because then they don't start so early. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm thinking, so I have this as for help, as I showed in the beginning. I think I'll stick that up here on my, my little pegboard thing. So I'm kind of thinking, where do I want the horizon line? For the flowers, I'm just going to put a little dot to remind me. And then maybe, should we go, there. That'll just help remind me for grass. I'm just going to mark it on the side. So I, a lot of times on the sides, I'll go a little lower, have it kind of come back down. Maybe up a little again. So like I've got kind of like a roller coaster ride going. This one, I'm going to have it come higher. Okay. Yeah, I went down far enough with my sky. Oh, that was just a number one round. If you ever want to know what brush I'm using, I forget to tell you, just holler. Well, you have to show up for the, the lives to holler. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It's weird when nobody else laughs. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to just kind of take my 
medium green here. Normally I would pick it up and maybe I can a little bit. So this is kind of like how I did the large 20 by 20 poppy painting, which I think is kind of fun. Just kind of scribble. I'm getting a little color on my sides. So I'm going to touch up my sides after we're done here. I don't know what color I had. Or and if I have to mix more color, you just kind of, and it can't, you don't get it exactly right. You just use that color in other places to tie it in. Okay, so maybe another thing I do is bend it towards the center a little bit. I hope this is interesting. To me, it's kind of slow going. I'm using the three quarter inch flat. It kind of reminds me of the polar bear's hair. Yep. Kind of how you did. That is polar bear hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting my cords a little bit here, if you're wondering. My brush is hitting them. I don't know if it's doing anything weird to the video. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't even know if that's on video. Uh, it's in the top. I mean, I can see by the end of your stroke. I just can't see the start of okay. it. So you're. I'll set it down. So I'm just starting with a medium green. The greens, as you can see, are kind of transparent. The more yellow in it, the more transparent. But you know, I think um, I don't use ultramarine that much. I think it might be. Some of the blues are quite transparent. Okay, so now what I'm thinking, hang on a second, I changed my mind. Um, I don't know if I want a complete circle. I might want some, we gotta come up above our sky. And we might want some um, sort of zigzags. I don't know what to call it in our grass. Well, here, I just pinned this up, but like there's more blue down here than there is over here. Just make it a little more interesting. A lot of times I'll have a hole. Here, I need to flip it so I can see right side up. That's kind of a pretty green. It's a little muted. Oops. Okay, so I said I wanted a hole someplace. I gotta figure out where. Because I tend to aim for dead center. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna grab a different brush. This is a number 12 Filbert Royal Lane Nickel. It's their mental line. I'm gonna grab some of my sky color, which is a good reason to save it. Not Suzanne, just... oh, sorry, I'm interrupting you. That's okay. I was just gonna say just, you know, cause you might want to do what I'm doing right here. Go ahead. Uh, Suzanne said, how do you decide what would look good on a small canvas? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you could be painting absolutely anything, I'll just go with this one. Um, a little motion in the background helps. I've got a, a dark streak going this way helps you know, so my thought is keep the viewer in the painting. So what's going to look good is if you keep directing your eye into the painting. Um, I don't know that that answers your question, but that's what I'm thinking right now. And so instead of having a dip right smack in the middle, I'm putting a sky dip <laughs> right here. Because when I was painting upside down, I really couldn't see it. And it's actually okay if we have a few grasses that are kind of getting blurred out, pushed to the back even more. So if that didn't answer your question, try me again and I'll see if I can. So don't put things smack dab in the center. I think it looks better to put them off center. She said, thank you, that helps. Okay. And Bonita made a comment that um, someone should make a political pl campaign platform that is 
purely for discontinuing the time change and that they would surely win. So now I'm, I, I was like, why? and oh, I mentioned okay. that I don't know why they still keep it. So I, I'm looking up why they keep oh, thanks, huh? the daylight savings around. It, I don't. I feel like it was a war thing, but I don't even know if that's right. I've always heard it was a farmer thing, like because oh, then it's lighter thing? in the er, it's lighter in the morning, Wait. so then they can start their day earlier. I don't know in the winter. I don't know. I'm looking. Yeah. Why, I'm, but I really am looking. Why do we keep it around in 2021, where there's like you know farmers have massive lights or something, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm just putting a little. So a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll uh, make my corners darker. It's a simple little trick. To keep the viewer in the painting and what's going to look good. So what I do a lot of times, I, I start with my darker or medium values. Well, I start from back to front, but of course you'll see plenty of videos where I didn't do that for whatever reason. And then um, a lot of times I'll start medium value and then go darker and then add, a lot of times I save my whites and my light lights for the end. It can take, what was neat about the Party Poppies painting is I had some warm colors uh, in the dirt, in the grass. So that was kind of fun. So another thing that's going to happen to me is it, it's going to need a couple coats. I'm a coats, I'm a layers painter. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell like. I turn my head <laughs> to paint the sides. We should just, it's just, of course, the live, the chat will, if we don't edit this video, the chat will get posted. Mm -hmm. If it's just the three of us, we could have our own conversation. Yeah. Yes. And I could uh, not post the chat. <laughs> we do have Paul Ranson art in the chat too as well. Oh, hey, so. Paul. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. It's an intimate little group today. So I add the white cell cover a little better. It's more opaque. I want to say it's the most opaque color, but I don't know that that's true. That's not something I actually know. But can you see the difference? The mm -hmm. coverage on the yep with the white versus the straight up. Mm -hmm. Also, want to kind of keep moving here. I feel like I'm going too slow. Mm, you were right. Daylight savings was implemented in the United States nationally on March um, 31st, 1918, as a wartime effort to save an hour, to save an hour's worth of fuel gas or oil each day to light lamps and coal to heat homes. Ah. And we keep on doing it. 75 countries use daylight savings time in 2021, while 68 have stopped using daylight savings. Now I kind of feel like a whiner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But o uh, only two states don't participate in it for us. It's but, not, yeah, most of us, most of the U.S. does. Mm -hmm. But the, the, so I'm on Britannica Pro and Con dot org. Oh, I had, <laughs> my, Graham and Cramps had Britannica mm -hmm. encyclopedias. Yeah, that's why I kind of clicked on it. And because I, I found like a USA Today article on it and it was two people talking and I was like, I was like, I can't, I can't read this. So someone broke down the pros and cons. So it says that um, daylight saving time promotes um, longer daylight hours promotes safety. But what happens when it's like dark at five on the other end? I know. You know? I know. Or, um, but it also says the con is daylight savings time is bad for your health. 
It is. Well, so. I, I, I didn't notice it as a kid so much. Well, I did because school, but yeah. gosh, as I get older, I'm like, oh, this, I feel this. Yeah. All of these f feel very, like, counteractive. So it says that basically, like, it's good for one half of the year is what it's saying because it says... Pro number two, daylight savings time is good for the economy, but con number two is daylight savings drops productivity. Hmm. So I don't know why we really keep it. Because it also says that daylight savings time is expensive. Oh. Um, I wonder why. Uh, let's see here. It should say. I mean, if I'm putting it on your spot, just say mom. <laughs> um, what? It says that, let's see here, like an economist at Utah State University um, decided, or wait, state, um, states that the simple act of changing clocks costs America $1.7 billion in lost opportunity. I don't know if that's, oh. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's so weird. That is weird. Oh, and also you lose an hour. That's what they're saying. Because you've lost in it. When you push it forward and you lose that hour, that's how much money you've lost in, like, work or um, whatever. Well, but it just shifts. So I don't know that I understand. Well, because that. when... Um, Sorry, I always make you explain when I don't get it. Like, whenever... let's. I don't know when it falls back or falls forward. I think it's at, like, 2 a.m. Is it at 2 a.m.? Yeah. So at 2 a.m., uh, when we fall forward, it'll jump to 3 a.m. So you've lost an hour, technically. Oh. Well, For that one day, you lose an hour. But I'm sleeping, not working. But maybe somebody's working. <gasps> True, night shifts. Mm-hmm. Okay, the light bulb went on, honey. Thank you. <laughs> like night nurses, their shift is probably technically shorter. Yeah. And whoever else works at night, too. That's the only thing that came to my mind. But um, Paul is from the U.K., and he... Uh, he says that daylight savings drives me potty, too. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the term. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Paul, for making my day. <laughs> that's great. It is potty. P-O-T-T-Y-M? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's great. I agree. I like it when we learn stuff. I'm just kind of painting out my little guidelines. I tried to wash them out, but it dried too long. Too long. Okay, are we good? Might need you to hair dry when you're done. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I could put another layer. Actually, I, I could put another layer on the. I am able to hair dry. Okay, um, I said actually like three times there. The grass, so one thing about not painting a color ground just, and a color ground is just painting color on your canvas before you start. Uh, one, that gives you a middle value to work from, which can be really nice. You're not staring at a blinding white canvas. Two, um, I think it's easier to color cover than with the grasses. Because my canvas is, as it dries and the acrylic paint shrinks just a bit. Ooh, don't want to touch it where it's. I get little pops of white. Yeah, I like how the, did you just like not basically like whitewash it in a way? Or would you? Yeah, I add a little white to help, try and help cover it. Mm -hmm. And then I also added, I was trying to cover my line that I drew, mm -hmm. my guideline, because I didn't cover it up as much as I thought I was gonna. I like how it just kind of gives it a more muted cast to it. Yeah, I'm just mostly using the white to try and cover it. Mm -hmm. But see, I could spend, oh gosh, hour and a half on this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. It's relaxing. I'm just playing with values. Paul says that potty is kind of an old-fashioned phrase meaning mad. I love it. I love it. Oops, I just got my blue a little dirty over there on my palette. Probably hear me breathing. It's so quiet. And it's not windy today at all either. No, and so I there's think no 
think the garbage went through. Although the I don't know if the lawn service for the neighbors coming today. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's I kind of wet. Do you think they come on wet days? Yeah, probably not. Plus, I don't know if she's done for the year. True. Yeah. Or if they do, do they might do leaf service. I don't know. Yeah. Well, she, pretty much she has everything done. True. Dad will go over there and suck up her leaves, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. Or mulch them or whatever he's doing. I think he got that mower that mulches them. So he really just mulch. Does he? I don't even know if he bags them anymore. Did he bag Well, them? he bagged the flowers that were dead but still alive, so they were mushy. Oh. Like, oh are the flowers gone out, friend? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Yep. Well, I they got notice. ugly looking from the frost, but... Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I might have waited to throw a smidge dryer. It wouldn't have been so slimy and gross to deal with. Yeah. But, I mean, it's done. I mean, it's really nice he did it. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the fighting with... The bag. Well, and they weren't even noodly because they, they're only the tops had died from the frost. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to quit playing. <laughs> they weren't even noodly. Do you want me to dry it? Um, hang on, I keep seeing white that I want to cover. Okay. But I suppose that's hard for you to be in limbo when you're man womaning the chat. Oh, it's fine. We're good. We're hanging out. We know why daylight savings time happens, kind of, so. They're probably like, how does she know what to do? So I'm just thinking, you know, darker, got a little lighter, got darker, a little lighter, just so it's, I'm just looking for kind of randomness and coverage right now. Whoops. I got way too much paint up into my brush. Okay, do I have spots? Oh, and another tip too, here, I'm gonna do it while I'm thinking of it. This corner's a little more yellow. Oh, I wanna grab a little darker, it's kinda solid. And this color's a little more blue, or the corner. Mm -hmm. Another little, you don't have to do all, all these things, just some of the things I do. Yeah, I like that, that I like that it, it makes the, um, the corner that is yellow feel more forward and gives you more of like a depth feeling. Just a smidge, mm -hmm. doesn't it? All right. I keep seeing white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kiddo. Okay. And I figure, unless you have another break already planned, I figure it's. I was it's busy break with. Time. Yeah, I was busy with daylight savings, so. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Is, is time for a break. I'll do time. announcements. Your ice cream break. Sort of like in high school, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Get on the. <laughs> The PA, they still call Wait, it the PA. We should, have, we should find a PA system. Yeah, that side should be fairly dry. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a drink, guys. Last last time I had a coughing fit. I kept saying it didn't embarrass me, but I think it did embarrass me. All right, and I'm also gonna clean out my brush. It is so nice to have Emily here helping me. It goes smoother when something happens, I've got someone to help. And she's so talented, too. Okay. Oh, I, I'd been, I was going to shout out because I don't let her know. But I'm wearing, I was wearing a pair of her earrings. I usually am wearing a pair of her earrings. She has an Etsy store. Um, you guys can ask her to put a link in the comments when she comes back. That'd be kind of funny. Okay. So I want to thank, I think it's pronounced Katharina S., C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-A, -E Katharina S., for sending money through PayPal. Thank you so much. It's so nice of you, and I'm, I'm very grateful. Emily and I are saving up for more canvases um, so we can do more of these videos. So thank you, thank you. Uh, next week, we're going to work on... A couple people have asked me, oh, is that too big? Asked me to do a church. Because so I've got another church. Oh, I didn't bring it over here. I'll have Emily grab it. I've got a six by eight inch church, it's a winter scene. Now this is pretty complicated, so I'm thinking we might do this in two parts. Does it work any better? I don't think that works any better because it's eight by eight. And I just wanted to show you my sketch. And sometimes sketching on graph paper, especially buildings, can really be a help. And I took the perspective out of it. There's a reference photo I use, which I'll link in this video next week. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that's what's coming up next week. And Emma's back, so I think we'll just end it there. Thanks, kiddo. Mm -hmm. Is it drying up? Oh, yeah. Anything's, anything okay. helps. Yay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
what else? I did the live. Is there anything else? Oh, we, um, I'm in the new gallery, and so we took a trip down there. We might, I don't know if we'll do this every month or not. Mm -hmm. But Emily went with me, which was so nice. I took new art to the, the gallery I just started a month ago, and there's a cute video coming up this, when, this Friday. Yep, this Friday. Friday. Uh, is that the 12th? Yep. Yep. <laughs> November 12th, 2021, in case you're watching this video way in the future. And the Cardinal Ornament video goes up Sunday the 14th, 2021. Okay. Thanks for letting me do a commercial, guys. Okay. Let's paint some poppies. I can always come back with the grass, too. I usually do that. I'll usually come back and even add some blue for more depth. Alrighty. Um, let's make some reds. I think I'm going to be able to do it on one palette. I was kind of worried I'd run out of room because, as you can see, my green really grew. Mm -hmm. And then the bigger the brush, the harder it is to have all your colors on one little palette like this. I threw that on the floor on purpose, Em. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe I wanted to go this way. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So just a little quinacridone and cad yellow, and I'm still... So can you hear me talking about you when you're drawing the, the painting, Em? No. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Of course, you could watch back. I could yeah, talk about you. I couldn't. I could not hear a thing. It's a loud hair dryer. I was yeah, well, and I had it on high to try and make it go fast. Yeah. <laughs> so you do want to be careful. This isn't for, for you, Emily, but mm -hmm. it's just something that popped. I've never had this problem with my hair dryer, but you could melt the paint. It's plastic. Mm -hmm. um, I have never... A lot of times I'll finish with like the cool setting, but I don't know if you need to do that. Yeah, I just kept like waving my hand to make sure it wasn't getting too hot for my hand. And if it wasn't too hot for my hand, I figured it wasn't too oh. hot for... You're being nicer than I am with it. Suzanne says, oh, that's cute, but I don't know necessarily what that's in reference to because I couldn't hear. And Bonita says, the church sketch looks great. Oh, good. Yeah, I think that might be a two-parter. Emily hasn't seen it. Yeah, you just told me that you uh, you got comments on the last live. That I've gotten people... comments over actually off and on with the year because they see that. Oh, would you grab the church Yeah, underneath mm -hmm. the um, All in Favor Birch Tree painting? Yes. Um, people are like, paint that one, paint that one. And I don't, didn't want to paint the same one again because I've already, one, sent it to my agent and, you know, I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck out of my paintings. So we're going to paint a different church. But here's the one that people see every once in a while and want me to paint. So the snow snowman in, in the traceable, the new traceable is going to be um, very similar. Here, I'll grab it. It's pretty much the same snowman, quite similar. I don't know how to hold it. <laughs> and then I put a lamp, uh, we've got a light, so we'll see if we can turn the lights on a little bit. So the lights are on in this church, which is kind of fun. So I think we'll do that in this church. It'll be the same colors, same palette. So I don't know, I can't get it down low enough for you to see it. Thanks for grabbing that. Oh, is, so is this the new one right there? So this is the new one, but I can't quite get it lower with oh, all yeah. this stuff there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cute. And it'll be the same colors as the one I just, once I figured out that color combo, I didn't want to necessarily give away those paintings. I really like it. I'm running out of... Here, I'll steal the other one back. Yeah, that'd be good. One less thing on my... Mm -hmm. Oh, would you also throw this away? It's really wet. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I like that you put a, I assume it's going to be like a light post. I did, like, um, oh, like in the video that's posting on Friday. It's those lights. Yeah. I had to think. Real life lights. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're just simple round. I was lights. thinking you like painted lights that I was not understanding. No, it's a. It's the downtown lights. It's like a street lamp. Yeah, like the ones we have downtown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm having a little trouble with them. Here we go. So I'm just looking for some shades of red here and orange. Oh, yeah, Suzanne was talking about the, the church sketch. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll, that'll be a two-parter. I think I'll paint the background.
to start, but then maybe I'll paint also the a second background live, and then I can switch to the dry one. So, but I don't know if that makes sense. If that you're thinking like a two-parter live, or yeah, like... so it'll spill into the following week. So okay. I don't think I can paint it all. Like I don't know if I can paint all this one. How is it going to be the size of that printout? Yeah, eight by eight. Eight by eight. Okay. Okay. So I usually use a square brush for painting poppies. Well, I have green on my thumb. Um, I might go with a smaller one. Well, I don't know. So what we need to kind of figure out next, you could sketch out what you want to do. And so we have a game plan. Oh, I can still see my sky. I might have to come back. Sorry, I keep switching brushes. <laughs> um, shoot, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Let's just take a medium red. I might need to mix more red. And let's paint, figure out where a big one's going to go. So I'm putting it off center. And it's going to be kind of transparent. So I've got a little orange. And then I'm going to grab a little quinacridone and some of my red. And then we kind of want to, so what's nice about doing them this way, even though I'm hesitating, they don't have to be perfect or look a certain way. And it's just straight, straight up brush strokes. If you wanted to, let's see if I can do it, you can kind of curve it. And you can see my grass through it, we're going to need coats. Maybe white paint. There's a poppy. And then you could even, let's see, I was thinking, I don't know if I want to do it on this one. I might leave that one alone for a little bit, even though I just, sorry guys, I hope it's not annoying I keep turning this. I'm trying to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm just using the corner of my brush, but I hope that's on camera. All right, that might be the star of our show. Yeah, I th he was on camera. Oh, good. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's so, I was saying, so nice to have you here. Thank you, Em, for being here. Mm -hmm. I haven't thanked you. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to clean my brush, but I just kind of Oh, and if you have a newer brush, so your quinacridone will stain it. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not clean. Oh, if you when you wash out a brush, just wipe it like on a paper towel to see if it, you've gotten all the pigment out of it. Because sometimes with the staining, you can't tell. So I'm just kind of grabbing a red orange, and I'm going to try and do a triangle. I'm trying to also decide. I don't know if I want to. Right in the middle, so maybe we'll put it here. So I'm just going to put it down, pull, and then twist. And that's not so pretty, but we can just kind of touch it up. Cool. I'm fussy when I paint, so I some artists wouldn't do this, but I like to kind of. I might switch to a smaller brush too. Maybe a little water, just a smidge, might help me. I like the texture of the canvas, but sometimes I want a smooth edge on the, the flower. Okay, so we've got made two decisions. <laughs> um, let's. My reference photo pretty much has them almost tulip shape. So should we do a little... I'm not liking how this paints with the corner. I don't know if it's me or the brush or the angle. Too many factors. It's the angle. Okay, let's leave that one alone. Let it dry. Um, let's have, now I kind of want, so I've got one, two. Let's have another bigger one looking this way. So this one looks 
this way. This one's kind of looking that way. Let's have one looking this way. Pointing, maybe. Maybe that makes more sense if I say pointing that way. I'm gonna dump that brush. <laughs> no, I, it, I'm. Sometimes you know you'll like a brush one day, and then the next day you're like, I don't like that brush. <laughs> yeah, you've been liking the. I think I have that brush as well. Oh, it's, a, it's a pretty. Yeah, oh, it's a pretty I, brush. I do like it. I like the um, chromey look to it. I like the gunmetal kind of colored. Oh yeah, it's their. Zen line. Ooh. Mm. That's a good name for <laughs> chilling while you paint. Okay. So do we want one more or do we want just, you know, we could just do three, but they're kind of small. Let's, um, this one even bigger. So what I'm going to do is put some black dots in there for the center of the poppy, eventually. Oh, here we could kind of go like that, maybe. And sometimes I get frustrated because my poppies, like in the um, thumbnail for this video, they just look like blobs, but really that works. You mm -hmm. kind of have to, I have to tell myself. It works, don't worry about it. Just put a couple dots in the middle. Maybe I should do one of those. But then we'll have four. You know, let me finish my first thought. Well, here, we'll turn this one into a blob. We'll still have it looking that way, though. So what I'm trying to do is, um, you could leave the texture of the canvas there. I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit. That's one thing too, if you put a coat of paint down first, you'll have a little less texture, textured cam canvas feeling. Yeah, that we can put that one, we can make that one a center one. That makes sense, uh, poppy with dots mostly in the center where this one has, um, Still sort of a side view, kind of a top side view. Probably should just quit playing with it. Okay. Now one thing I want to do, are those dry? They need more coats, more layers. Boy, that is a strong, the quinacridone is really strong. I don't know if that shows on video. That is a, it's a yummy color. It's a very strong pigment. Okay, I want a littler brush. Here's a little filbert. I don't know what it is, what size it is. It's pretty small. Okay. Oh yeah, you have some green on your thumb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's dry. So one thing I really like about poppies, I'll just put one, I don't want to stick my hand on my painting. I'm gonna grab a lighter color. Oh, Chase. Chase has made his way into the chat with his 4.99. Oh, Chase, <laughs> man, thank you so much. I don't think he's literally missed a live. He hasn't. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Chase. You're the best. What do you want for Christmas? Yeah, what do you want for Christmas, <laughs> Chase? Maybe that's not funny. I'm just grabbing a little white so it's more opaque. Got so many tools here. So I like the little 
poppy buds. Now, like some artists will um, have a line that skips a little more than that, so it's not like a balloon. But I tend to, eh. Yeah, I think we just had a happy, happy accident. Here, here's what we'll do. Just <laughs> hide it behind a. <laughs> um, I I tend to like to connect these. Okay, and I like them when they um. Here, let's have one. I feel like, I hope this, I feel, I, you can tell I feel a little awkward here. I hope this is working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine that you're moving. You're still on camera, so. Okay. And I want one that kind of goes there. So I'm trying to touch light, but I'm still getting some fat brush strokes, but it's totally okay. This one's better. Well, that'll be cute. He's drooping. I like the droopy one. Yeah, ones. that's cute. And I want a droopy one over here, but I don't know how high I want to go. So I just switch colors just to switch colors so that it's a little more interesting right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So we put a droopy one. Well, I want one here. So now we're all, we're kind of pointing towards this, you know, the middle of the painting, kind of. I want to cover up some of my, I might have to make her dip a little lower. You have about 30 minutes left in our normal time, just uh, so you know. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> we can go longer, it's fine. Oh, I know. But when I paint, I don't know, I stop a lot. I go as absolutely as slow as I want to go. <laughs> The lives do put, put the pressure on to speed yeah. you up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I haven't really decided. I just decided where the light's coming from. I'll tell you in a second what I'm not thinking. So you can see how wobbly I am. It's all right. I don't know if that bothers anybody. Maybe it just used to worry me. So you don't have to bring it all the way down. You can just stop it. So I just decided our lights, like my usual, is coming from the top left. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna guess the top left. Oh yeah, I do that. Of, uh... I do that a lot. Sorry, honey. I no. Cut you I off. I have nothing more to say. So one little tip, just because I'm thinking of it. It's just kind of pull the color across. That's a little more interesting. Here, do we want to see? Okay, so we have three of those. I like. <laughs> I do. I like, I like. But that's kind of how I piece out a painting. And you can see it in a time lapse. You know, you just stop the time lapse. But I, I don't show every, like on the 20 by 20 poppies, which is I linked all the poppy paintings. There's a lot of links in this video description because there's some fun links and then there's the links to all the poppy paintings. While you won't see every step, you, you still see how I build it. Um, do we want a brown? I'm thinking, I'm feeling like I want a little brown. Oh, what I'm going to do, I wasn't going to pull out another color, but it's much quick, much quick, fa it's faster. <laughs> Working on my grammar there to add a little, just a pinch of black to some orange. But much quicker just makes it all the more quick. Yeah. Uh, oh, I could, I could also put out some burnt umber. As long as I've done my puddle. So I'm just gonna grab a little, little black. And then if it goes green on you, add a little quinacridone. My orange wasn't very orange. 
watch this now go this isn't going fast like it usually does i didn't have an orange and i didn't have enough orange <laughs> oh i might need more black too i went too wimpy on the black because it's starting to go with a little bit of quinacridone yeah i don't know if you can see it but it made it look a little bit more brown just put out some burnt umper or whatever brown you have Oh, and black is strong. You know what I've, I've never thought about, but um, you could do is, so any video that you time lapse um, in under the gear, you can slow down. Oh yes, that's The true. speed, which I've literally never thought about. And I, I'm trying it now with one, it's a little jumpy, but you can see more where you put each color and stuff like that. Yeah, I've, oh sorry, go ahead. But I didn't ever think about slowing it down. <laughs> I've actually mentioned that a couple times okay, in the comments. Good, good. But yeah, you know. Yeah, I think we got a pretty brown. It's still a little fast and it's a little jumpy, like Well, and you skippy, can stop but... the video. What, what I love is like, okay, I don't want to see her paint the beginning of this live. You know, I mm -hmm. don't need that. I'm going to fast forward to, you know, an hour in and. Yeah. Yeah, once this is done, people can skip ahead and... Yeah, you have a lot of control. Mm hmm So I made that brown so I can make a warm brown green. Okay, do we want to add... Sometimes I'll even have a painting I can't show it to you. Because it's another artist's work, just for inspiration. Look him. Does that look like it's mine? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it can give me a little, like, oh, yeah, let's do this or let's do that, you know. Was I your vouch right there? Did I vouch for you? Yep. <laughs> well, I don't want to show it. It's not. Yeah, it's not yours. It's yeah, somewhere. that was a lot more, that's more dainty and. Oh, and like zillions, like, like zillions detailed. of little pieces. Yeah, it's and very detailed. Little... I thought that was another photo reference from when I saw it from oh. this far sitting over here the first time. Yeah. I thought that was just another poppy reference that maybe you couldn't show. That was an actual. So I'm just trying to decide where to put this. You're fine. Um, yeah, no. Okay, that was a good example of um, making lines and strokes. And I, they, now I really like that it's transparent. My, um, I just caught up to like the, I'm already past it, but I had, I just, when I chuckled, I caught up to the part where you're kind of like dancing around trying to figure out where to put it. Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah. I've just never, I never see you really do it. I don't think we, have we done? Oh, my still Did we do flowers like this where you were doing stems and stuff on live? No. I think this is the first time. Yeah, I don't first think First time we've... for everything. Because like the, oh, you did the cone flowers on live, didn't you? Mm -mm. No? No. That was a pretty good video for step by step, I yeah. think. Now that's where you, um, I stopped the video because you had to go come see if the hat would fit in. Oh yeah, okay. I was, but I just remember it, me being there when it was happening, so I, yeah, that's why. That's why I saw it when it was in the middle because I came and measured your head. <laughs> <laughs> that hat works so great on Halloween, I love it. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever make a hat with 100% that stitch again because it literally is it's, so thick it sits up on its own. Yeah, it is kind of heavy. I love it though. I like that it kept my head warm. Good. That's it. That's why I made it so thick. I like it. But it's kind of heavy so then it wants to kind of um, pull off a little. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's more dramatic than what it wants to do. But So I'm just thinking some darkers down here. Do we like three or do we need, I don't know. I like I, and I would ask this question if no one was in here. I like the odd number. Is it too wimpy though? Um, well, could, uh, here, I'm gonna look. Oh, it's better on the, on the Yeah, I like, I need to, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know what we'll do. No, that helped me. So okay. that was a good tip. Like take a photo of your painting, step back from your painting, in my case, I looked at my iPad in the live. 
really don't want to be doing this right now. I can do this when the video is done. Do we have enough of a dip? Yeah, we have enough of a dip. Okay, so what we'll do, I'm cleaning up my brush. My stomach's growling. I'm just telling you in case you heard that. <laughs> You know, I was going to eat something right when I went downstairs to get my drink. Oh. Because I'm like, oh, my, stom my stomach's hungry. Okay, what's really great about mixing a red with quinacridone? You could also add matte medium to like a cad red. You know, I don't know if you need to do it with a cad red. But you can... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where. You get transparent... Color it is, it is transparent color is what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to think different shape here. And so we'll put a couple little hints. And if I paint over it with more grass, so I can just put it back. This will remind me. I'm just trying to change, as I mentioned before, just trying to change the shape. So we'll put little hints of I kind of like the tulip shape, triangle shape. Yeah, I like the hints. And I'm trying not to line them up. <laughs> My brain wants to... Making a conscious effort to not line them up. Yes. So I do talk to myself. I don't. And then how far down do we want to go? We could have, you know, everything here. Do I want to bring it down a little more here? More color here? Follow my curve and bring it up here. Lots of choices. I don't know at this point that there's really a wrong choice. But I have to decide. Oh, what I could do. I have a little, a little bloom. I don't know who asked, the most recent person who asked for this. I mean, I've been asked before to paint poppies. Yeah, I swear it was like last was live the or last the live, live before. Yeah, maybe it was the live before. Somebody asked for um, poppies. Well, and I'm doing it because I know it'll sell. Oh, I started to talk about that. So the reason I'm doing a second church and not the other one is because then I can send, I can sell it and it's a different painting. Um, it's a different YouTube video. It's a different image to send to my agent. So it, it can work for me, it can work harder for me than if I painted the same one again. I like that. Do you guys like that little puppy with the, it's poking out? Yeah, that's cute. I do think that um, we'd have to wait a while, obviously, but like in a, another year from now, you should paint like an old painting oh, again. Yeah. Cause like the, even just the tree from last year. I brought that up while you were. Yeah, I saw you talking about it right when I was coming back in. So I, I think that'd be cool if like we just, if you painted it again, you know, cause. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if I change and paint it again today, it's gonna look different. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, my brush strokes were looser. I do like, I did mention I like the darkers in the old one. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean they're not. I think we're kind of there. I think we just need detail and layers. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. yep, yep. I think we're there. Yeah, I like the amount and the... So we have odds, just like in flower arranging. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. If you have a four, it's okay. The more you get, the less you, it, it matters how many you have. Like, we're getting to the point now where we could just add whatever and it's not going to matter. Okay, so... That one's still kind of wet. Do you want me to hair dry? No. Um, <laughs> no, but that was super helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab some brown. That's a little brush. No. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I'm going to want, like I did in the party poppies. I might call this one mini party poppies. <laughs> Well, no, it's not going to have as much color. Hey, if you guys can have the tile idea. I love it when you guys give me ideas. I'm just kind of adding. I like to add spots. I kind of think of it as like entertainment. 
and it'll mimic a little bit. I might be overthinking it, but the spots in the poppies. Okay, stop. Let's grab a little blue. Ooh, my blue's drying. So I, I just dip my palette knife in just a little bit of water and just kind of cut into it. It works a couple times and eventually it just, you have to put out new paint. Kind of wake it up. Let's. Um, Suzanne asks, Annie, if we do a painting with you on live, can we sell this painting? Oh, well normally I would have said no. So my art's copyrighted and I license it. And actually the bigger worry than making like me upset or angry is making a manufacturer upset or angry because I'm going to I'll send this painting to my agent too. They want to have original art and they have money. So you could certainly give it away. But I don't. And then you could sell it and I wouldn't know it. And as long as the manufacturer didn't catch you, you're fine. Does that help? Yeah. So normally I say no, you can't. I just say no. Um, there's a lot of pitfalls for you guys, really. You know, this will make a cute garden flag. I can see it at Lowe's in a year or two. So I wouldn't if I were you. I hope that sounded nice. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, no, it's yeah. kind of a bummer. And yeah, it, it is. But I. Um, well, what you could do is just change it. That was just gonna. I was gonna say. Go like ahead. I think your um, your your traceables are probably a little bit more of like a hard. Like if you follow the traceable really well, it's kind of that's probably a hard no. But like poppies, if she doesn't, every there's a thousand poppy paintings. There's a thousand paintings. poppy paintings. So, good so if she doesn't do the exact everything where you did it, the exact colors, the whatever, like the odds of somebody, <laughs> like if you just kind of generally followed the technique and like painted your own version of whatever, I think well, there's the gray. Yeah, and your handwriting is going to help you. Yes, because you're going to paint it differently. Yeah. You know, because I got an artist, I wish I could show you, it doesn't look at all like, um, it's a bunch of teeny little delicate flowers, that's not me. Mm -hmm. But um, I like the colors in it, and I also like the spots in it, like the little, mm -hmm. um, I bet you totally can do it. I bet if you painted it and looked at it, you're like, oh, this is definitely mine. And Yeah. No one's going to think, no one's going to think, oh, that's from that tutorial. You're, yeah. You're good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay. Did we? I think, yeah, I think there is a way to get... Oh, gosh, yeah. Around it, you know? Yeah, because you're not going to paint it like I do anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, spending. even if you did take your general traceable, it's kind of similar to how you take a, pa or a picture from, um, like, Unsplash or whatever. You don't always necessarily... Like, that, ho or the horse and the cow that's above your head does not have a flower in his mouth. Right. So if somebody like adjusted his spots or where he has black on him or, and then no flower, that kind of thing, there's a way to. Well, yeah, that can get you in trouble too if it still looks like mine. It's a weird, it is a Yeah, copyright. it's a weird, yeah. And then other countries don't even follow U.S. copyrights. Mm -hmm. You know, I find my art on Alibaba, <laughs> um, which used to make me so mad, but, you know, they can't enforce it, the U.S. You know, I could try to hire an attorney in China, and it's just a nightmare, and it's so expensive. So anyway, thank you for asking. I really appreciate the question. I think if you paint one, it'll probably look different enough, and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's such a subjective thing. I know. Because, like, how many people have painted the oh, same thing, you know? Lots of artists yeah. paint copies, and lots and lots. Or even, yeah, even just, like, some of the other stuff. Like, I think your frog is pretty, like, that would be your frog, you know? There's certain ones that I'm like, that's definitely. Well, which is from a Creative Commons Zero photo. <laughs> True. You know, they could go find, um, I think, yeah. I, I don't remember if I was linking to the photos then or not, but I could find yeah. it for you if you wanted. Yeah, so if you find the photo, so if, uh, well, and then do it all yourself. Well, and yeah. <laughs> and don't, I mean, you know, I, I changed it, so if you follow the photo, you might even be home free. Mm -hmm. It's mm. weird. What I worry about with everybody is the manufacturers. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have the money to fight you on it if I thought you were infringing on my copyright. 
which I probably shouldn't announce out loud, but I want to be straight <laughs> up with everybody, you know? Mm-hmm. So hopefully that wasn't too much of a soapbox, but... It was soapboxy, but... But I, helpful? It was, I, yeah. Let's see. Um, oh, Eric's here. He says, hey, Annie. <laughs> I, I think that was a while ago. Hey, Eric. Thanks Let's for coming. Here. I caught one of his YouTube lives. Um, it was downtown Paris, Tennessee, I think. It was really fun. They had uh, fire pits. And I assume it's okay to say his location because he was, face, he was you know, doing a Facebook Live. It looks so nice and cozy. It was fun. I couldn't stay very long. It actually might have been the night we went down to the gallery. Um, Bonita says the odds of a painting by someone else looking like Annie's has to be slim to none. Yeah, some people are really good <laughs> at it, but um, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Yes, I think that was a compliment. <laughs> and then Suzanne says, okay, I didn't think we could because of copyright. Um, she didn't know because um, her paintings are also originals, but I don't have copyrights. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, I don't but, know what it is in Canada, but... So in the U.S., I don't know if I can paint. This is going to be a long live. <laughs> in the U.S., you have the copyright when you create it. But when you f register it with the United States Copyright Office, I don't think that's actually the technical term for it, then you have more legal rights if you ever go to court, which, you know, helps a manufacturer, helps myself. But you, I would think in Canada you also have rights just by creating it but i don't know some people used to say oh if you mail like a photo of it to yourself and don't ever open the letter that doesn't work in court that doesn't work you know then it's like a proven date of when it was made and mm -hmm. in the u.s the best way is to register it and the stinky thing now is a photographer can i don't know hundreds can copyright hundreds of photos for fifty dollars and now since two years ago maybe it wasn't that long ago. Um, artists can only do like 10. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. Okay, that was quite the topic. Yeah. I just think bottom line, there's a thousand poppy paintings out there. Yeah. It probably won't, it probably will not perfectly match, you know, and... It's such a big thing. I learned a lot from Bo. Bo is my IP lawyer. IP is intellectual property lawyer. Um, if you ever need one, I can, he's really reasonable. I think he's still practicing. I haven't had to use him lately. Um, he's really good with art, writers, musicians. He's based in California. He used to be the president of the, hey, Bo. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever catch this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Bo's online. Well, he used to be on my um, art licensing business blog that I used True. to do. Um, he was the president of the California lawyer for the arts for a long time. I think he's about my age. So I'm just adding, playing, adding colors, adding interest. Probably have talked long enough I can work on my poppies again yeah and um we talked so long that we technically only have six minutes left yeah so that was kind of an important well i don't know that's just such a tough question i know it's a great question i appreciate her, her asking and being concerned about it and mm -hmm. yeah i think probably most cases i won't even know that you painted my painting because it's going to have your handwriting mm -hmm. unless you have like everything in the exact same spots flip it and then move things around okay that'll help okay I'm gonna put so in my daisy painting I think I called it happy daisies and it's not linked um, I did not put stems on half the flowers and they don't really even notice it might be one you might want to check out. So I'm trying to th think, have the, the stem kind of aim towards the middle, which I didn't do a very good job here. So now I'm going to fix it. And skinny it. 
It's sometimes it's easier to skinny a line than it is to paint a thin one. I kind of forget that myself. And that was kind of good when I'm thinking of it in case we just end. So I've kind of got everything going, but have a couple, uh, all the grasses are kind of going together. Have a couple cross over. Let's work on the poppies. I'm still <laughs> in the mood to do the grass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We keep getting distracted by the grass. Yeah. It's not quite where I want it. It's getting closer. Mm-hmm. And I just emphasize with the blue, the darker bluer corner, and then I kind of want to darken up this corner a little bit. Okay. Poppies. Let's grab a little white. And let's see. How do I want to do this? Have that be a highlight. I kind of want it soft, but I want it kind of drawn out the, sh the shape of the flower a little bit. There we go. That'll help. Let's do this. Is my hair in there? I can feel it hitting the. <laughs> um. I stood up. I don't think so, but I don't know if I've caught up. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay. Need a little water. How do you know when you need water when it's going on drier than you want? Here, what we could do is bring that forward a little bit. I'm just trying to make that irregular now. So I, you, there's many ways you can paint a poppy. I kind of like doing this because it reminds me where I want the high, highlights. High whites? High whites. I like the high whites. <laughs> the high whites. <laughs> That's, um, what's Ote? That reminds me of, uh. What's that from? Ote. I used to say that all the time. It's a kid's movie, obviously, because I would say that all the time when I was a kid. I think it's Little Rascals. Little Rascals. I don't. Is that a politically correct video, uh, movie anymore? I don't know. I haven't watched it in forever. All the only scene I remember is the kids like trying to put out their clubhouse, and like they're flying with the hose or whatever. Yeah. Paul Ranson Art says, thank you girls for the live stream. So nice to see you live. I assume he's leaving to eat dinner because he mentioned earlier that it was dinner time and he was cooking dinner in between the poppies. Oh, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I don't like what I just did there. I'm just going to let it dry. <laughs> well, maybe not. I'm going to... Oh, there. I like that better. Okay. Do we want to muck with the ones in the back that are like in the weeds? I think just these two. Ah, so then my thought was, I don't know if we want to mess with them, but then I thought, let's make one stronger. Grab a little red and a little orange. Okay, we could put a little red tip poking out of that one. Oh, and like this one needs the stems, I I'll come back in and add more variations to them. This painting could go for four or five hours. Grab a little yellow, a little orange. That might be too yellow for my taste. starting to have some life. I'm going to grab some red. This 
So now I kind of push that back more than I wanted. Grab a little white. It really helps. The white helps that yellow pop. Yeah. And the red. So now I'm gonna. Oh my! Watch. I was just wondering. I was thinking my watch should go off soon. Did it just go off? Yep. Here you see. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we need more layers, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Well, are you talking that sing that one you're working on? Yeah. I don't know. I think we let it dry. I mean, I could get away with, you can kind of see some grass coming through it. Um, but I'm also going to put black dots in there. Mm -hmm. It might be enough to where you don't, as a viewer, you don't really think. It know, doesn't scream. It doesn't scream grass behind it. Well, of course, mm -hmm. you might. I don't know how transparent the petals are. Doesn't scream when finished. Somebody asked me in one of the lives not to, we haven't done that many lives. Mm -hmm. You know, do you do I work dark to light or light to dark? Actually, middle can be helpful because you you can only go so dark and you can only only go so light and you can play with. Excuse me, bringing your values up and down. Yeah. That could be a way you might like working. Well, and I think if you realize that, you know, if you work middle, you can do what you just did. If you're like, oh, crap, I want some yellow right there, the white kind of gets you back to that neutral, I guess, you know? Like, some, it's easy, that you, that highlight will pop more. Yeah, it gets you back to the middle ground. Yeah. Or, shoot, I lost your train, I lost your train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a little highlight so I don't forget Oh, maybe we could do that with this one. Just... If you go too far on this one, you can knock it back. You can put some grass over it. They're starting to look yummier. You can make them lighter. I've got, they're pretty dark down here. You can make them pinker. I can tell I've been painting for a while. My back's starting to... Talk to me. Yeah, is it easier to paint at the easel? Because you probably do, you, or do you still? Yeah. Well, no. Um, it's easier not to paint live. Because. Oh yeah, because then you can. I can pick it up. Mm-hmm. I get, I've got that tabletop easel that. Uh, supporters, is that the correct word? Mm -hmm. People who sent money to support the channel. Um, I, I bought a tabletop easel not too long ago. The yeah, party poppies, I did that on the, on the tabletop easel. No, it's just because I'm stuck in one position. Yeah. Which is a good thing. I have people here hanging out with me, which is really fun. I haven't talked about movies or shows. I started a podcast, M. Oh, you did? Jack recommended cereal. He said it was NPR, but I don't think it is. I think it's just somebody in Chicago hmm. from 2014. But it reminds me a little bit of Murders in the Building, the music. The, oh. And it's just one woman who narrates, and then they have, um, like, phone conversations. And mm -hmm. and they go out and investigate to see if the time works. And I'm like, I really, I'm, what, I've listened to about six episodes. Some huh. episodes are a half hour, some are 40 minutes. I have not. I, I, mean, I don't know if I've heard of that one. Cereal. S E R I A L. <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? I don't think so. It has a black logo with an S, and S is kind of out. Oh, I think I've maybe listened to one or two. It's cute. Well, cute is weird because it's based on a real life. Mm hmm. But it's, it's very, um, um, it's, only murders in the building. Yeah, it's very much. <laughs> it's, well, they're not, it's not as crazy. Yeah. But. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Should I leave that alone? But I kind of want it redder in the middle and darker. I 
And it's great because I wasn't sure it would work for me. Because mm-hmm. if it's a video, I don't paint. Then I watch the video. Yeah. But I, it works great. I can paint to it. Mm-hmm. I don't like this either. Oh, yeah. They kind of have the punny names like... Uh... Only one name has changed, I think, so far. Um, well, like the, the podcast names? Like episode one, episode two. They, oh. they kind of have punny names or funny, like kind of like funny adjacent names. Yeah, you know, now I think about it. I mean, it's my very rea- murders in the building titles. <laughs> yeah, my reaction wasn't wrong. That's kind of cute and funny because she'll do little jokes every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But I think that's also to lighten it up, just like murders in the building does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I cannot paint and talk. Um, but really, it's, I, it's based on a true story. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, it is not funny at all. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do appreciate the um, levity because it's, I wouldn't want something that's, I'm pretty sure it's an entertainment podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm really that alone. It's just, I'm bugging me. It's bugging me and I've changed it. Okay. I, this one's still bugging me. I'm going to. So it, it seems like they're in seat. Oh, so it's really like them because it's. Um, it's one story. Season one is one story. Yeah. Ah. And I don't know if the whole season two and three is one story, if it changes. I, don't, I didn't look into it. I just, Jack said I'd probably like it, and he's been, he's so good at, like, I like Ted Lasso. He's so good at knowing what I'll like. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know how he does that. So I'm just wanting to cover this a little more. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all... I think one story, or like different stories, but like one season is a story. I feel like it's almost like some radio channel out of Chicago, because she mentions, you know, WB whatever Z Chicago. Well, and I I wonder, what I wonder is if this is, um, because who, which one, uh, did Steve Martin or Martin Short write? Steve Martin. Steve Martin wrote it. I I wonder if um, it's kind of. It's, I mean, obviously, it's based off of these kind of podcasts. But is this a woman that does this podcast? It is. I wondered if it was the same woman. I, I wonder if they. this is who they based it off of. It feels like it. Yeah. I, I thought the same thing. And That's you're already funny. picking that up. Yeah. Well, yeah, I haven't even listened to it. But it, it does feel very... Just looking at the their web... Or her web... Their website? Her website? I don't know how big... If it's just... I assume oh, it's yeah. more than her. I haven't looked at the website yet. I've just been, you know... Um, I think I was doing it on... Apple podcast or mm-hmm. there. I kind of like that. I changed the flower. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a little dark in here. Very cute. I need to go to a smaller brush it just because I don't like what happened there. But maybe I should leave it. You know the whole happy accident thing. I'm not gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm not leaving it. I like it better. I like that swoop I got. So a bigger palette, it's, you know, having the greens palette and the blues palette and then having a red would really help me. But I do think it might be helpful for you guys for me to not be. I'm grabbing some yellow. It doesn't have any white in it. But I think it might be helpful for you guys if I do it this way when I can. There. Okay. Um, I think I want some more spots and we'll put some dots in the poppies and we'll call it done. Which could take me three hours. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I shouldn't do that. That'll scare people away. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> We're going for the long haul. Get a snack. <laughs> How long? Yeah, Twitch. Was that Twitch that you said the people? Yeah. We talked about it, and they have, like, oh, yeah. no, it was Tinker. Tinker probably isn't here today, but it was talking about how they had a way music for when they have a bathroom break. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know where that person streams that she was talking about yeah. or whatever, but. Oh, sorry about that. And my... then I, I mentioned that, um. Like Twitch, which is purely a streaming platform, um, they do like, you know, it's not that weird to go six hours or, you know, four or five. Mm-hmm. Like I would say people that probably, I mean, I don't actively watch, but when I see re-uploads of people on YouTube, it, it seems like they, uh, it's kind of like three hours is kind of very, is very common. Yeah. I forgot that I haven't really added any. 
So this is where painting takes longer. Once you kind of get the structure down, but like, okay, we really could use some highlights. And I also really like that I hinted at, but didn't do like little things that could be coming out. That's kind of fun. So I just, I just hit the uh, microphone cords on the bed. And then grab, oh, excuse me. Um, ah, I'm trying to hurry so I grab too much. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Still keeps going. I heard that one. That one. Um, I haven't heard the ones painting. prior. <laughs> I'm a human being. I haven't heard the ones prior. You need a snack. I do. I need some chocolate. So I think that looks better on the brown. Just a second layer. And then I think the dark looks good mm -hmm. over here. And then we could grab, I have a dirty brush, so we could grab a little white. Offload my brush. I don't know how I'm doing that under my painting. That's Michael where... left the good chair, and I didn't even realize. Oh, you were sitting in the crappy chair? It gets, can you feel that? You feel the bottom of the chair eventually. The pad's not very good in it. Yeah, I don't know if it's like, it just, yeah, it just doesn't feel as squishy. No, it's not nearly as good and sturdy. But I don't like slide out of it, I guess. So but my easel nice. chair was. I kind of like, it's not as, is it not as deep? There's a lot of things about it. I think the problem of your, like the desk chair you always use is that it's so deep that I, that's probably why I pull that t-shirt off that you have for freckle to sit you on You have there. to slide off because you're short, much because, shorter. Yeah, so my legs just slide off. Suzanne says, beautiful painting. Love spending time with you. Hope you have a wonderful week. Big art hugs. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. Big art hugs to you. Big, great big happy art hugs. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope to chat with you soon. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, no, I've just been made fun of. Sorry. <laughs> She's going. She's going to go into the bus soon. Oh, we got to talk about her Etsy earrings because that embarrasses her. <laughs> I told them. I don't know if anybody did, but I told them they should ask you to post your link. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, while you were oh gone. my gosh! I think Paul didn't. I was like, I thought it was something else about what you were talking about, so I didn't even. Oh. I, so I just. Oh. And, and Paul's gone, but thanks, Paul. Yeah, Paul's gone, and I. I was like, he said something about your. Um, let me scroll back. But I just thought it was, it was right around when everyone was talking about. Well, I was about, trying to get, kind of get at you because you were gone. Like, oh, let's do this because this will bug her. <laughs> and then see. I kind of forgot about it because I'm trying Where to get this it? sucker done. Um, let's see. Oh, darn. I wish he wasn't gone. Yeah, that would be so funny. I just figured it out now. Let's see. It was right when people were talking about, like, um, I think Suzanne had said, like, oh, that's cute. And I was talking about that. And um, I mentioned... That was, I don't know what anyone was talking about. So I, I, everyone's comments kind of after that, I was like, oh, it's something about what you were talking about. So I'll just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I told them. They, thank you guys for doing it. I wish, I so wish Paul was still here. I thought of it sooner. Uh, do I have enough? I think I might have enough lights. I need to step here. I need to look. Okay, we need to put dots in the poppies and dots, like I said I was going to do, and be done. Oh, it says your earrings, but it's earrings is misspelled, maybe, in quotes, hint, Annie. And I was, I was like, I thought that was just in reference to, because you had said there was stuff you were talking about when I was gone or whatever. Did I, was I able to hear? So I thought that was just in reference, so I didn't even. <laughs> you didn't understand? I didn't get it, yeah. And then people were talking about the church sketch, so I just thought he misspelled a word. Yeah, I thought it might make you a little mad if I did that. <laughs> well, that's not dark enough to show. Oh, did you hear that? Was that a bird? That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel? Yep. He, like, cackled. Yep. Sometimes then freckles will say something. And then she does she do the little, like, chirping at it, too? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're talking. I don't think she heard it or she doesn't care. Is she in here? No, she's not here. Okay. Freckles is my cat. She's the president and CEO of AnnieTro.com. 
She is a boss. She is a bossy pants. She's a queen bee. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Chris, then you want to do it again. And then you don't want to do it too many times. It's one of those things hard to stop. Do we have enough little... Here, let's put the centers of the darn poppies in. Is darn too strong for you two? <laughs> darn it. I'm not much of a... I don't swear much. Oh, when I golfed, I started golfing. Really for a friend. She just wanted me to be a body so they didn't have to forfeit the the lead, the game, the whatever, the match. Um, I'm looking for a little round brush. So number one, Simply Simmons. Um, and then my husband really likes golf, so I started practicing and stuff. And then I graduated to golf league and was super nervous when I first started. Um, oh, it was, it was horrible. Probably like the first time you try to paint. It's like, oh. Um, anyway, th the point of all that buildup is I wouldn't swear. And a lot of the ladies swore. And they're like, oh, come on, Ann. Annie, you can, you know, you can swear. I'm like, no, I have little kids at home. I can't swear because it'll become <laughs> a bad habit. And, you know, <laughs> and I think every time I played golf, because I did golf league for a little while, he would give me so much crud about not swearing. It's my cute little golf, I don't swear story. <laughs> I'm just looking for a really dark, muddy color. Put a color. Cheryl says, hello everyone. A little late with a little like surprised emoji. <laughs> or the little shocked emoji. <laughs> well, we're going long because I tried to yeah, get an go hour long. and a half, but we went, we painted a full painting last time for the first time. Yep, Freckles is back. And now we're painting another, I think I have too many dots in this one. Should I just merge some of them? I think what is, so back to your swearing oh. story. I think what's perfect is that um, I, like, I was only allowed to say toot. I was never allowed to say fart. So when people would refer to, like, the F word, I thought that was the F word. <laughs> and I That's a better story than mine. Yeah, and I remember, like, I remember I would hear people say it and my ears would just burn and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is so bad. That is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> or um, or I, my favorite me sassing you story is the um, when Jack, so Jack's five years older than me, so he would have been in grade school by the time I was doing this and he taught me that there are two types of butts. There's a but when you like use it in a sentence to say like excluding something or this but this and then there's your bottom but and I wasn't allowed to say but so I would just I would say to you I said B U T not B U T T. <laughs> you know, part of that was because you're can I say your age? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Part of it's because yeah. you're twenty. Back then, like I didn't you shouldn't say even but in church. You know, so yeah. if we're, you went to church with Grant, which you did a couple times, mm -hmm. you know, and part of it is because, like, I needed a hard line because your father was swearing. <laughs> so we could, could tell the story about the dollar jar. Oh, yeah, I loved that one. I loved the dollar jar. Did you jar. benefit as much as your brother from it? I don't know that I don't you know. did. I just remember there were a couple times where, um, so, you know, because he couldn't swear, he went to, like, I think he would say rat farts is all he would say. <laughs> but I still thought farts was such a bad word. I would hold my hand out. For a dollar. Oh, yeah. And I remember being in, like, Hy-Vee or Baker's or some grocery store, and I heard it. I was in, like, one of those little, um, the carts that's the car in front, so you can, the little kid can drive. Mm -hmm. But it was, it's not, it was, like, all the way in the front of the thing. So I just remember, like, holding my hand out the back window for a dollar <laughs> when he said it because the store didn't have anything. Well, yeah. I mean, it, wor it worked, which was good. Jack made a lot of money before we even moved to Nebraska. He wasn't very old. Jack had the advantage of that one, you know? Mm-hmm. So all I'm doing is covering up um, places where I can see the white of the canvas popping through. But I think we're pretty much done. Do we need any, any more? I kind of want more things. <laughs> I kind of want, how, what, how much time? Oh, it's it is, almost two. It's a 150. So, yeah, if we go to two, you're totally fine. All right, I'm going to... I am... Is my on... I, so I forgot... I forget to, like, am I on camera? I'm going to add a little dark blue. Yeah, I need something to eat. You hungry? 
Okay, there's hmm. the score. Do we have pretty good, is it pretty good? I'm gonna look at the live. Pretty good structure, pretty good movement. Everybody's, we kind of have three stars Ooh. of the show, but that's totally fine. Did Freckles just do something? Yeah, she just ran right in front of me to get to the squirrel. Oh, she heard the squirrel? She heard him, yeah. I think they you, taunt her. You have time, because I'm trying to figure some. Suzanne said, asked um, me if, she said, I don't have any art palette earrings on Etsy, but I'm looking to see if my listing is live. Oh, I don't know. I was looking at your store, but I didn't look that. Oh, it's here. Okay. That He's just hidden. So, um, I have, let's see here. The, what happens is if you go to, like, the main page of my store, it, um, the annoying part is, it's fine, but it's a little bit annoying, is when um, things get re, when I renew a listing, because a listing only lasts, like, I don't know how long. Um, they, uh the listing gets buried a little bit and he's kind of hard to find, which is annoying. That is annoying. So I have paint palette earrings and I think I have like three pairs made. And then I, I have them listed because they're not hard to, I think I have like 999 in stock or however many left in stock because they're not, um, they're, some earrings are harder to remake than others. So I'll only have like one pair, but I think this is the, let's see here. You have three ready to go. I have three ready to go, and then I, I just make them as, if I don't have them and I have more, I make them as the order comes in. Let's see here. Active. I think I have enough little sparklies. Do we need any more highlights? I could put a little yellow on here. Oh, you know what? Let's put a little... I'm just playing now, guys. The painting's done. Make that a little stronger. I think I'm going to do a poppy painting with more of the poppies unopened, all bending every which way. Yeah, that'd be cute. That'd be really cute. Fun. Okay, I dropped it in the chat for you, Suzanne. It's a, I, I don't like that. I wish I could, um, it goes by like date made or date listed initially or something like that. But I haven't figured out how to, it's just whatever earrings are relisted become like the new earrings, even though they're not. Because like... I yeah, think. it gets bumped to the top because that's their, their because system. Because it's, yeah, that's their system. And it's fine, I guess, because, like, they do tend to push, like, the newer listings more. Mm -hmm. But for people that are like, oh, those earrings aren't that old. Where are and they? And then, yeah, where are they? They it, they get buried pretty fast because I, sometimes I, um, I drop quite a few pairs at once. So then a bunch of pairs go out of, or expire at the same I time. Have, oh, sorry, Hannah. No. I have um, my palettes I haven't worn for quite a while. I have the little half flowers. Here, I'm going to put them in the live. Do you still have these? I don't think so. I didn't re... Um, and I love the little speckle clay. I have to see which ones you have. I have to wait for the live to catch up. Yeah, I'm going to set it down because I don't need to hold it Oh, those. Yeah, I have those. And I made you a smaller version. They're of like them, little poppies. Yeah. Or little, like little half daisies. Yeah, I have those ones. too. Okay, I'm done, guys. Are we... Is there anything anybody can see or have a question? Emily, do you have any mm -mm. questions? Oh, you know what? I thought of something. You can keep going and going. But I didn't like, and this might be too much because I've got white in it now. So I felt like this was a little heavy. Let me go this way. Every once in a while I go... The opposite, you, you brush stroke direction matters, but sometimes the opposite direction can give you a little, it's a little better. Was it a little too big of a shape or too heavy? Hmm. I don't know. And then I won't like it and I'll paint it out. <laughs> but I think that's good to know, you know. And then I'll, what I'll do too is um, um, look at it tomorrow and see what occurs to me. I won't varnish it or anything. It's too soon to varnish it anyway. This one always, the open up poppies always bother me. Okay, guys, I think we're done. I hope this was fun. It was it was long. It was two hours. Yeah. But it's every step, literally. I will paint. Oh, sorry about wiggling my art table. I will <laughs> paint um, some grasses on the side, you know, because this is all kind of one value. I'll clean up the bottom. Same on this one. And I'll probably just hint at a little poppy like I did here. 
And I, I definitely will want some spots because I like spots and dots. Alrighty, did I already say thanks so much for hanging out with us? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I'm not know sure. Either. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. We had fun. The stories got better at the end. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.